our main objective was to get to the next round. How pleased were you with the performance? Very pleased. I thought to say first half, first 25 minutes when we passed the ball really well, we moved it. We tried a little bit of a different system, which worked out because had George Poulton sitting back with quite a few lads who will come back from injury. Callum Reynolds, Shane Shane Black, it was ill last week. Burge, Kevin Gallon, I don't know. It just showed like the fitness level of them. When they are injured, they work really hard. And it showed today that they did very well. The earlier goal always helps. Of course, it always helps. You know, it brings them more confidence, makes us relax a little bit. Of course, and then we got the second goal. But second half, we came out and we a little bit sloppy. But you know, then near the end, we got, we got it going again. Uh, fine finish by Asa Hall to wrap it up. Asa Hall has been on an absolute fire recently. We had a young v old game yesterday. We scored four goals in the team meeting this, what, this afternoon. Said to him, we've got to score four and I'll give you a bottom loop stage. I won't, I won't ask you whether you played in the young or the old. Today, were you, Somebody stirred What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, uh, Peter Rankovic, who played centre-half, uh, I thought he was magnificent today. Um, he'd done everything I wanted him to do. Um, and he was superb today. You had to pick him in that position, I take it, because then Warridin was unavailable due to his uh, registration with Dagenham and Redbridge, his parent club. It was a, an unusual Grey's formation, if you like. It was you had to juggle things around considerably, didn't you? Well, we did. I mean, we ain't got the biggest squad in the world. We know that, and obviously Anwar was uh, Dagenham wouldn't let him play. Um, so, I mean, Peter played centre half back in back in Norway. So. Uh, it wasn't really a strange decision um, as such, but said he went in there, he's the best player we had today. Luton are no doubt about it, a good side, they're going to be one of the better sides in the division, albeit this was an FA Cup game. Once they got ahead early on, it was back to the wall a bit today, wasn't it? Of course it was, at the end of the day, it's the same as we said against Wrexham. First half, we were non-existent again. And to play football was about 90 minutes, not 45. Um, second half, I mean, I thought we were the better team in the second half, but only because they worked hard and got stuck in and, and were competitive. First half, it was non-existent again. What did you say to the players? I take it you said those very things to them after the game? Yeah, I, was, I said I'm, I'm an honest person. I tell them exactly what I think. Um, I don't care if I hurt people's feelings or not. Um, they're there to do a job. They get paid for doing their job. Um, and I said, it's, I, the first day I seen them, I said, all I expect of you is 110 tests. All I want. And there wasn't many out there today. Give me that. I know it's an old cliche that people come out with sometimes okay, about yeah. concentrating on the league, but that is one that is applicable now, is it? Because you've got a bat on your hands, you know that, and you're prepared to dig in and work hard with the players to get out of the position you are in the league. And there is the, the case now that that is something that you can concentrate fully on, albeit that you probably were anyway. No, I wasn't actually. Um, to me, the FA Cup's the FA Cup. Regardless of the league, I mean, I wanted to go as far as this as I could. I don't care what the players, players thought about it. Um, but obviously now we're out of it. Obviously we have to concentrate on the league. Um, but I would have...